Hey everybody, it's John here, and in today's video we're going to take a look at how we can turn a column of data into a table. So we're basically going to be unstacking data. So I've got a small set of data here for contact information, and you can see that uh, I've got someone's name here and their street address and city and their country they're in and their postcode. So this is all one record of data, but it's been stacked on top of each other into one column. And we have a couple different records. So here, another five uh, data points, all for one person. Here's another five data points for the same address. And again, and again. And we want to take that information and turn it into a row of data. So let's take a look at how I did that. Okay, so first we're just going to create a query on this table. So I'm going to go up to the Data tab and from Table and Range. And that's going to open up the uh, Power Query Editor with my data in it. And now I need to add two columns. So the first column I'm going to add is an index column. And that just creates an index of my data. So starting at zero and going down and then I'm going to add another column. So I'm going to go over to my Add Column uh, tab and go to the standard calculations. And there's a calculation in here called Divide Integer. And what that's going to do is divide a number. So my index column, the numbers in my index column, it's going to divide those by a number that I give it. So let's add that step. And the number I'm going to give it is the number of data points in my stacked data. So I had five uh, items of data in each address. So I'm going to say five here and press OK. And you can see what that does is I get kind of a grouped serial number now for each record of addresses. So here's my first five and they all have zero here. And then here's my next five, and I get a one, and two, and three, and four. Now I'm going to take this index column, because I don't need it anymore, and I'm going to transform it with a modulo calculation. So I'm basically going to take the remainder uh, upon division. And again, I'm going to use five, because I had five items in each record. And now what that gives me is for each record, I get an index from 1 to 4, and then it repeats for each record. Now what I can do is pivot the data on these two columns. So if I select both those columns and go up into the Transform tab and Pivot Columns, and then the value I want to return in my pivoted data is the contact information, so this stuff here. And I want to make sure that I don't aggregate it. And if I press OK, what I get is down the rows, I get that integer division number. And across the columns, I get my uh, index with the remain or the remainder of my index upon division by, by five. And you can see that now that's given me each address record in a single row. I can get rid of this because I don't need it anymore. And then I can also change these so these are all text. And I can rename these columns now. So name and address and city, country, and postcode. And we're done. So we can go into the File tab and close and load this to a table. So we're going to put it in a table and we're going to put it right here. And now if we add some data to this, so if we go up here, here's some more contact information that I have. If I add that to the table, right click on my table and refresh it. I get those three new records there. 
So that's how we can unstack our data if we get it in a single column, which sometimes happens when you copy and paste from something that looks like a table, sometimes appears in just one column, and we need to unstack it or basically turn it from one column into a table. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time.